Hey, McGinn, welcome back to our read alouds. It's Mr. Lone, good to see you. Um, one of the stories I've been reading with uh, the kindergarten students and uh, some of the first grade classes is a story by Bonnie Becker, picture book, called A Visitor for Bear. And part of her series has continuations on the adventures of bear and mouse. And so I figured today, because it's been such a hit and the students have really enjoyed A Visitor for Bear, we would look at one of the other books in the series, and this is A Bedtime for Bear. Here's the cover. And the author again is Bonnie Becker. Here we go, A Bedtime for Bear. <clears throat> Everything had to be just so for Bear's bedtime. His glass of water had to sit on the exact right spot on his bedstand. His favorite pillow must be nicely fluffed. His nightcap needed to be snug. Most of all, it had to be quiet. Very, very quiet. One evening, Bear heard a on his front door. When he opened the door, there stood Mouse, small and gray and bright-eyed. He clasped a tiny suitcase in his paw. I am here to spend the night, exclaimed Mouse, with a happy wiggle of his whiskers. Surely we agreed on next Tuesday, protested Bear. No, said Mouse. You most definitely said tonight. Oh, said Bear. Bear had never had an overnight guest before. Guests could, guests could quite possibly mess things up and make noise, and Bear needed quiet, absolute quiet at bedtime. Even so, Bear and Mouse enjoyed an evening of checkers and warm cocoa, and soon it was time for bed. Remember, I must have absolute quiet, reminded Bear. Oh, indeed, said Mouse. Bear set out his glass of water, adjusted his nightcap, fluffed his favorite pillow, and climbed into bed. It was very, very quiet. He closed his eyes. Bristle, bristle, bristle. Bear heard a noise. It was Mouse, brushing his teeth. Ahem. Bear cleared his throat in a reminding sort of way. Most sorry, said Mouse. Bear closed his eyes again. Hum. Hum pum pum. Mouse hummed while he put on his nightshirt. Pum pum. Absolute quiet, said Bear. Deepest apologies, said Mouse. Creak, squeak, rattle, went Mouse's bed as he hopped in. Bear jammed his pillow over his ears, gritted his teeth, and closed his eyes. He was just about to drift off when... Good night, Bear, Mouse called. Bear tried to pretend he was asleep. Good night, Mouse called a little louder. My ears are highly sensitive, cried Bear. Really? How interesting, Mouse said. Can you hear this? Mouse mumbled into his pillow. Yes. Amazing. How about this? Mouse said from under his pillow. Quiet! Mouse slipped under his blankets, crawled to the bottom of his bed, and whispered. Can you hear? Silence! roared Bear. Mouse slid from his bed, went into the closet, and said in the tiniest possible voice, in the farthest, darkest, teeniest possible corner of the closet, Surely you can. Will this torment never cease? wailed Bear. Sorry, Bear. Good night, Bear, whispered Mouse, tiptoeing back into bed, as quiet as a... Well, you know... Bear fluffed his favorite pillow, adjusted his nightcap, and waited. But there was no more sound from Mouse. At last it was quiet. Very, very quiet. Bear heard a shuffling sound. Mouse, is that you? No answer. Bear heard a crick, crick, crick on the floorboards. I know it's you. No answer. You can't fool me, Bear growled. But he didn't sound very certain. Bear heard a low moaning noise. Mouse? There was silence. Bear was sure something rustled on the floor. Mouse! He cried. Wake up! Mouse stumbled out of bed, small and gray and sleepy-eyed. What is it? But Bear couldn't see any rustly, moany sort of thing in his room. His room looked quite like it always looked. 
Nothing, lied Bear, still clutching his blanket to his chin. I must have been talking in my sleep. Bear chuckled, but it was rather quavery. Ah, said Mouse, with a glance at Bear. Could I peek under your bed? asked Mouse. Sometimes I like to check for things, you know? Well, if you insist, said Bear. Nothing, said Mouse from under the bed. You want to check behind the curtains, I suppose, Bear said. All clear, declared Mouse a moment later. You'd better check the closet, offered Bear. Then you won't be the least bit nervous. Mouse came out of the closet, dusting his paws. Not a thing. Thank you, Bear. Good night. Wait, said Bear. You'll want a bedtime story, I expect, said Bear. You know, for your nerves. For my nerves, said Mouse. Oh, indeed, I am quite shaken. Then with an eager flick of his tail, he settled on Bear's favorite pillow. And Bear told him all about the adventures of the brave, strong Bear and the very frightened little Mouse. Soon Bear began to yawn. Mouse yawned too. Good night, Bear, said Mouse. Good night, Mouse, Bear mumbled. Then Bear began to snore loudly, but Mouse just smiled. And soon Mouse and Bear were fast asleep. So I hope you like that story of the friendship between Bear and Mouse. There's plenty of these books from this series. McGinn, enjoy your night. We'll see you back for a new read aloud tomorrow.